Welcome to today's tutorial on creating an animated screen with Octane. So here we are, we want to add a video to our TV screen here. I have a TV with a surface imperfection material. If you want to know how I did it, I have done a video on this. See the top right corner here. First, let's create a reflective soil so we can see the light coming from the screen being reflected on the ground. Add a new glossy material, make it black, and apply it to the ground. For more interest, I'm going to add a roughness map. This one is from Travis Davids. The link is in the description. Also change the projection here to cubic. Modify the scale. Now add a HDRI environment so we don't have any light. Now let's create the animated screen material. Add a new diffuse material. Go to emission, black body emission. Apply this material to our screen here. And now we have some emission coming from the screen. Go to the node editor, and for the video to be displayed on our screen, we need an image sequence. So add an image texture here and choose the first image of your image sequence. For animated content, Octane works with image sequence and not directly a video. Let me show you how you can create an image sequence with Photoshop. Here I have my latest animation render. If you want to see how I have made it, the link is here on the top right corner. Go to File, then Export, Render Video. First select where you want your sequence to be exported. Here, choose Photoshop Image Sequence. Remember the frame rate here, so we can apply it in Octane. Click on Render. Let me first modify the scale here so it fits the screen. Add a Transform node, change the scale, Modify the position and rotate 90 degrees. Also, I'm going to modify the power here on the black body emission. So, if we want this to be an animated texture, we have to select our texture here, go to the animation tab here, and add an end frame here. I know that this sequence is long, so we can put something like 300. For the frame rate here, we can put 24, as it's the frame rate of the video. Now we have our animated screen. Now if I want more light reflected on the ground and come to the power and increase it, you will see that now the light is blowing out far too much. So what we can do is to duplicate the screen, duplicate the emissive texture, and apply it to the new screen. Right-click on it. Extensions. See 4D Octane Tags. Octane Object Tag. Go to Visibility and uncheck Camera Visibility. Now you can control the reflection of the emission without blowing up the screen itself. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you have learned something today and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.